first of all, it's important for you guys to know like, this is sharing from a place of this is what God has been showing me. Right? Mm. This is the journey He's been taking me on. Mm. You know, Tuesday night is, is testimony time, right? This is my testimony. Mm. This, this is not Tuesday morning teaching time, right? Mm. So mm. God is in any things I got wrong because I'm just telling about my journey, mm. right? Um, and I, I'll tell you, it's. It, I was just looking at my journal and all the dates, and it goes back to like almost a little over a month ago. Mm. And I was, people were all having these visions, and I was like, man, I want to have some visions. Like mm. I was, and so I started praying for God to open my spiritual eyes. Mm. And um, I was just looking on March 22nd, wow. I had a vision, and at 2.29 a.m., I literally wrote in my journal, God is showing me through a vision that he's opening my spiritual eyes. Wow. Mm. And I was like, okay, I have no idea what that means, right? But, and I, you know, and I will tell you, this is what the Lord has impressed upon me kind of through that. Yes. Maybe my interpretation is not correct, whatever. God's in it. And I, I will tell you guys this, it's been very, very powerful in my life. Mm. And, and that's where this one comes from. It's like, mm. if, if this helps anybody else, like the way it's helped me, then Lord be in it. Mm. Right. Um, and so, I, it, you know, th this was very unconventional for me, but I just want to share kind of how God began to show me this, mm. kind of the process he, mm. he took me through. We were watching a movie um, called End of the Spear, and great movie, won't get into it, but there's this one scene in the movie, there's like natives, right? Think like guys with spears wearing underwear, right? And there's this airplane, and there's this whole group of natives, and they just run up to the airplane, and they start beating it with sticks and with spears, right? And Kim and I are like, what are they doing? And I, I felt very clearly from God in that moment, they're just moving the chaos any way they know how, mm. right? And so take a step back, right? Broadly speaking, what's happening, right? They don't know what to do. They just know they want chaos. Right, and so that that whole situation was moving towards chaos. Right, that was a a spirit that was on that situation to cause it to want to move towards chaos. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so then the next day, I go to the kids' school that right, Friday. Right, and you guys were writing essays, and what were the essays on? Remember the time I was there? It was. Uh... What Anybody? Was that? Meditate. There it was meditation. Yeah, there it is. It's meditation. <laughs> Which, again, so meditation, it's, it's your mind either towards order mm -hmm. or towards chaos, mm -hmm. right? And so I'm start. I'm like, okay, that's weird, but okay, right? And then, like, e even you'd be having a conversation or, like, you might be witnessing another conversation, and you can just tell, like, that conversation is going south. Mm. Right? Mm. That, that conversation is moving towards chaos. Mm. Right? And, you're, and so I'm like, but I, I can see that conversation just going south. So again, is, there's something there. Mm. Right? And so, you know, um, last one that, that I'll kind of share as an example, and then I'll get into kind of what, this, what I thought this meant to me. But mm. we've got a, a family friend, and she's been a bit of a mess her whole life, just kind of one of those falls into bad patterns, bad routines, things of that nature. And as of late, she has wanted to clean herself up, mm. right? And get, get order in her household, get order for her children. Mm. And God is showing me, like, she's trying to do that on her own. She has no, there's no God in any of that for her, but that's God, mm. right? And maybe it's her heart after God. Maybe it's God pulling <clears throat> on her heart, right? Whichever way you want to look at it. God's moving there, right? She's moving towards order. Mm -hmm. She doesn't even know that's a move towards God, but that is a move towards God, mm -hmm. right? And so anyway, you, you start to see all that, and I start to realize I'm, I'm seeing patterns, mm -hmm. right? And then the Lord brings Romans 12, 2 to mind. Mm -hmm. And that's what he was showing me was Romans 12, 2, mm -hmm. right? But he literally took me on this path for three weeks, and we'll get into Romans in a minute, but of just showing me these patterns... I didn't even know it was a Bible verse, right? I had no idea what God was showing me. And then he just leads me to, and I'm like, whoa. Like, I just spent three weeks, like, seeing that verse. Um, anyway, and so this is one of my favorite verses, but let's, this is all right. Uh, it's Romans 12, 2. Let me 
give y'all a minute to get there. So do not, starting in verse 2 again, do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's break this down a little bit, right? First part, do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, right? So the pattern of this world. We were just talking about a pattern of chaos. Right, but you uh, and Kevin, if you want to say that, you can. But um, there, there's all patterns. So, as an example, order, chaos, we talked about unity, division, mm -hmm. renew, decay, mm -hmm. restore, neglect, mm -hmm. love, mm -hmm. hate, mm -hmm. real, <clears throat> fake, mm -hmm. care, wound, forgive, condemn, mm -hmm. humble. Pride. There's nothing magical about these. That's just what God showed me. That list could go on for infinity, right? It's a pattern. <laughs> but like, look at the pattern of the world if you have your phones there. But like, chaos, division, decay, neglect, hate, fake, wound, condemn, pride, right? That is the pattern of the world, right? And it's saying, don't fall into that, right? Can I just please. really quick read the um, TPT version? Yeah, please, please, because I think that it's very, uh, very fits into what the Lord has been showing us as a community. Amen. It says, stop imitating the ideals and opinions of the culture around you. Mm -hmm. But be inwardly transformed by the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. through total reformation of how you think. Mm -hmm. This will empower you to discern God's will mm -hmm. as you live a beautiful life, wow. satisfying and perfect in his eyes. Wow. And I think mm -hmm. what, what God's showing you mm -hmm. is the striking difference of God's culture Amen. and culture of the, world. the culture of the world, mm -hmm. a.k.a. Babylon, which if you want to read what happens there, <laughs> go for that. But, but he's very clearly showing yes. that. Yes. That stark difference. Amen. I'm sorry. I just no, left that version. No, absolutely. Bit, so. Bring it. Spirit's moving. Let it move. Um, it, so you, you start to see all those patterns, right? And it's saying, you know, don't don't conform to those. And so we're only going to look at one other verse, I promise. But Ephesians 4.22. Keep your finger in Romans. You were taught, it, uh, it, yeah, Ephesians 4.22, you were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires. Mm -hmm. right? To be made new in the attitude of your minds and to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Mm -hmm. And so again, you're... The, the, the thought there, right, is your deceitful desires are leading you into the pattern of this world, right? And so it really is taking that flesh, you know, who are you? You're supposed to be dead, putting it aside and realizing the new that is in you, in Christ, right? Um, so let's look at the second half of that. So do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world that we talked about, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So, two kind of words there stuck out to me, transformed and renew, mm -hmm. right? Um, if we look at, like, renew for a minute, right? Let's, let's think of a car, right? You, you buy a brand new car on the lot, clean, shiny, see yourself in the paint. Mm -hmm. Now, six months later, especially living here, right? Mm -hmm. Muddy, dirty. And so what, what are you, you put your mind towards, I'm going to renew this car, right? I'm going to clean it. I'm going to, you know, clean the carpet, mm -hmm. got new car smell, air freshener, right? And so, the, you know, your focus there is towards renewal, right? It's towards God even. Again, I know cleaning your car towards God, not the point. But um, now let's look at relationships, Okay. Think of like new love, right? For those of us married, think of like I just met my spouse love. 
right? Or like my newborn baby love, yes. or I just met Jesus love, mm. right? Think of the new, the exciting, the right? That zeal. I mean, the, the love men have done so many stupid things, yeah. right? In the name of that love, right? Mm. What happens, right? It's, it's the patterns of the world. Mm. They come into that relationship, right? Yeah. Whether it be your spousal relationship, whether it be your relationship with the Lord, mm. right? All these start to come in. Chaos, division, decay, neglect, hate, fake, wound, condemn, right? They all come in. Um, and so the, the call to renewal, right? This is, is really important, I think, for the youth. Only from a, it's a, it's a spiritual roots thing. Right, and so let me let me break that down for you. Kim and I were having this discussion. She has much deeper roots than I do. Right, that's just a reality. That's where I am, and that's okay. Right, when she wakes up most mornings, she's there. She is on the Lord's business, her soul, spirit, and alignment. Most days, right, she's there. She really doesn't have to work at that. Right, and I will say this: in my life, it's getting pretty close to yeah. Right? Like, I'm, I'm the same way. You just wake up and you're good to go. But I will tell you, like, I woke up on Monday, I was not good to go. Right? My flesh was just mad. Right? I, I, mean, I was just grumpy. I didn't want to engage. I didn't want to do anything. Right? I just wanted to go sulk. Right? I have no idea why. I really don't. You know, and God will show me something there, I'm sure. But at that point, like, what do you do? Right? Do you just wait to ride it out? Well, no. Right? And so I used what God was showing me, and I said, I'm going... I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to confess my sin. But God, I know you're about this thing, the patterns of your kingdom. Amen. Right? And I'm going to just focus there. <laughs> right? And I'm going to find somebody to love. I'm going to find somebody to forgive. I'm going to find somebody to encourage. I'm going to find somebody to build up. Why? Because the Lord is about those things. Amen. Right? And I, you know, this has happened to me two or three times now. He shows up. Mm. Right? I'm not trying to give you a formula. It's not that. <laughs> Right. But what I'm telling you is like, I love the analogy of archery, right? Where, you know, sin, don't think right or wrong, right? Think of the target. Mm. And when you're shooting an arrow, that's a decision, mm. right? And you either hit the bullseye or you miss, <laughs> right? In these times, you're not even going to be able to see the target. But what this is telling you is God's in that direction. So just shoot it in that direction, mm. right? And you'll get closer and you'll get closer. Mm. And, um, what what I loved is, you know, I think the Lord has kind of showed me broadly the path, right? And I think when you're broadly on the path, the Holy Spirit comes and leads you to that narrow. Amen. Mm. Right. Um, and I anyway, I just think that's very powerful. But my my big prayer, honestly, if there's like one takeaway that any of you get out of all this nonsense that I just spouted, no like it, it's it's the spiritual eyes, right? Just look for these patterns mm. in day to day life. You will see a conversation trending towards chaos. Bring order to it. Mm. Bring love to it. Mm. Right? You will see a person going and downhill. Encourage. Build up. Right? He, you know, you want to know the work of the Lord? It's people. Mm. Right? Like, it's him and people. Like, that's pretty much it. Wow. Right? So, you want work in the Lord? Work for people. Mm. Right? For these things. Probably not my phone. Y'all got, got the point. <laughs> mm, so what, Please, what, go ahead, brother. What happened at 3 in the morning with the cat? And the, you, All that? Did you see, did you hear something or did you see something? It, that was, it was two different nights. The, I, it, this was the second night that I had kind of all this. It, it was just much more sleep deprived. But <laughs> I was laying in bed though, so, yeah. And it came through the same kind of pattern thing. It was like, yeah, back to you. Okay. Mm. Um, I, I, I've got something on the second half. We're going to keep going. Or, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So last half of that is then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Um, I, you know, I, I was texting with Emmanuel, and again, like I was just sharing kind of some of this, right? And the word just test popped off the page, and I was like, I never really noticed that before, <laughs> right? But again, it's another thing with patterns, right? Like if... You feel God is leading you in a direction. Maybe you feel a little unsure. Mm. Compare it about what you know about him, mm. right? Compare it against patterns, 
right? It, does this decision promote love? Does this decision promote unity? Does this decision promote order, right? If it doesn't, then, then pause, right? And at least talk to somebody else, right? I just want to tag team on that Please. a little bit. It's exactly what he's saying, but, but if you look at it from your emotions, I think sometimes um, if you can look inwardly, does, does the emotion that I'm feeling bring chaos mm. or does this emotion that I'm feeling draw me mm. to God's order Amen. and when it does not mm. you cut it off Amen. it doesn't belong there yeah. it's not who you are yes. and so I know as a woman <laughs> I struggle or I have struggled with emotions mm. a good portion of my life especially when things start going really wrong mm. right mm -hmm. and when my spirit feels downcast mm -hmm. well I'm seeing things from the world's perspective mm -hmm. because those trials are meant to produce something mm -hmm. in me yes. in that moment <clears throat> not not Lord deliver me from that mm -hmm. hard thing which there's going to be plenty mm -hmm. and your emotions mm -hmm. are are controlled or taught to you mm -hmm. by your culture mm -hmm. And I know me, at least, mm -hmm. I was brought up in the wrong culture. Mm -hmm. I was not, even though God's culture was everywhere around me, mm -hmm. it is not what was produced in me. Mm -hmm. And I got uh, very used to following my emotions to make my decisions. Mm -hmm. And so that is being blown and tossed by the wind mm -hmm. or the waves, waves. sorry. Mm -hmm. That's humanity. That's what it does to you. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have that undercurrent or your roots down deep, mm -hmm. your emotions mm -hmm. control your decisions. Mm -hmm. And so I think, you know, the Lord wants us to, first of all, recognize you're having an emotion. If your heart rates up, mm -hmm. you're sweaty, you can't make eye contact with people, like I, all of us manifest that in different ways. But when you notice that pattern of your emotions kind of going, Wee? then that's a time to mm -hmm. get out of the flesh, oh, oh, get yeah. out of that mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. Be like Abort. Jesus. Go get, away from, go get away with the Father. Go mm -hmm. get away with the Father, and He will meet you there. Yes. And He will bring order yes. to your emotions. Yes. And then allow you to not just have okay emotions, not just feel better, mm -hmm. but to use that mm -hmm. for His purposes. Mm -hmm. Because those things that you're going through, Everybody else is going through those. Mm -hmm. We are the light mm -hmm. because we ask him to guide us through that. Yes. That's different. You're going to look different. Mm -hmm. Some of the world is going to hate you, mm -hmm. but the ones that want to know God mm -hmm. are going to be drawn to his presence in like you. Like a bee, good honey. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Sorry. Yes, no, absolutely. That's really all I wanted to say. Yeah. <laughs> Two more things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We began talking about patterns, right? And if you look at the patterns of God's kingdom, it perfectly aligns with Jesus, too. Right? I mean, it, he was the pattern, right? He, he, he defined the pattern. Right? He lived out the pattern. Right? And he was the prototype. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And the, first the, the TPT says it, you know, NIV doesn't. It's a culture, too, right? That that pattern of God's kingdom should describe the culture that, that we are living out here too. And so with that, I felt so strongly about this, but you guys have to, we have to read all of Romans 12 now because it's going to speak to you in a way. Lord bless it. Bless the Lord. I really believe this, this chapter right here was written for us right now. Okay. You guys okay if we read it? Yes. Oh no, I Therefore, I urge you, brother, in view of God's mercy, to offer your body as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. If you guys remember, Tim told us a couple weeks ago, worship mm. means to serve the purpose of, mm. right? That is our act of worship. Mm. Worship to serve his purposes. 
Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the measure of faith God has given you. Just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ, we who are many form one body. Right here. We're forming one body. I know it's bigger, but we're doing it too, right? And each member belongs to all the others. Amen. We have different gifts according to the grace given us. If a man's gift is prophesying, Justin, Nicole, mm -hmm. let him use it in proportion to his faith. Mm -hmm. If it is serving, Andy, mm -hmm. let him serve. Mm -hmm. If it is teaching, Emmanuel, let him teach. Mm -hmm. If it is encouraging, Benji, mm -hmm. let him encourage. Mm -hmm. If it is contributing to the needs of others, mm -hmm. Ben and Cheryl, let him give generously. If it is leadership, Tim, let him govern diligently. If it is showing mercy in all of us, let him do it cheerfully. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another for brotherly love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, mm -hmm. but keep your spiritual fervor. Mm -hmm. Serving the Lord. Mm -hmm. Be joyful in hope. Patient in affliction. Mm -hmm. Faithful in prayer. Mm -hmm. Share with God's people who are in need. Mm -hmm. Practice hospitality. Bless, the Lord. Bless those who persecute you. Mm -hmm. Bless and do not curse. Mm -hmm. Rejoice with those who rejoice and mourn with those who mourn. Mm -hmm. Live in harmony with one another. Harmony. That's good. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. That's right. mm. Do not be conceited. Mm. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Bless the Lord. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. Mm -hmm. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, Live at peace with everyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do not take revenge, my friends, mm -hmm. but leave room for God's wrath. Mm -hmm. For it is written, it is mine to avenge. Mm -hmm. I will repay, mm -hmm. says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. Mm -hmm. If he is thirsty, mm -hmm. give him something to drink. Mm -hmm. In doing this, you will heat burning coals on his head. Mm -hmm. Do not be overcome by evil but overcome evil with good. Amen. That is culture. What a beautiful share, brother. Mm -hmm. You melt out a heart. You excite. <laughs> I feel the ties of love. Presence of the Lord for your sharing. Mm -hmm. um, the heart is so profoundly sincere, real. And mm -hmm. so, especially your expectations for our young people, mm -hmm. flourishing God. He that wants to bless his soul, especially mm -hmm. bless young ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we thank you for meeting us here. We thank you for opening our eyes so that we can see you, Lord, even just a glimpse. <clears throat> like my brothers and sisters and I discussed the other night, let us always be the ones in the cold and the rain hoping to catch a glimpse of you, Lord. Let us always be those people, God. Thank you for these brothers.
brothers and sisters, Lord. I thank you that you move in each of us, God. everything that entangles us Amen. so that we may follow you. You don't care about perfection, God. You don't care about our shortcomings, Lord. You just want us to follow you so we can know you. That's it. We do that, Lord. The rest takes care of itself. Sure, sing that song. Thank you for your love. Thank you for